Hey everybody, Atlas here. Uh, I know it's been a while, I'm on the tail end of the flu. If you saw the case split opening, that's why I was on the couch, I was like, I was dying. Um, today I have for you a Tachikaze deck profile with all the new stuff from GBT13. So let's get started. <coughs> See what I mean? Alright, so for my starter, I have one copy of Baby Chimera. So his skill is, uh, you know, he's a forerunner, and then when he's putting the the drop zone from rear guard during my turn, I can counter blast, search a deck for uh, up to one grade one card, call it to rear guard, and it gets plus three k. So uh, when this thing gets engorged, or uh, you know, if it gets that aisle driven, even um, you can search out any grade one you want, and uh, a lot of the grade ones in the deck are super important. Uh, I tried the new starter, Little Tyranno, which was uh, you shove it in Soul Check Top 4, Call 2 when it's eaten. But um, the problem with that was I would get like a PG and three triggers or just four triggers outright. And yeah, it, it, it just happened one too many times and I was like, screw it. Also, you can reuse this with Gaia's Stride still, which means you can get more mileage out of it. So it's still one of the best starters. <coughs> um... I've considered running two, but yeah. All right, uh, four copies of the original Gaia. So probably one of the best break strides in the game. It, I will fight you if you disagree with me. Not physically, because I'll lose because of the flu. But um, he's got Engorged, which is when he attacks, he can retire any number of rear guards, and he becomes Engorged, so it's like a state. Um... If he is uh, GB2 on Vanguard, is if he's engorged, he gets 5k and a crit. And the other skill is when you stride on top of him, you can counterblast two, call up to two cards from hand, then pick two rear guards, and they get red text when it's retired from rear guard, you call it back to rear guard circles. So this allows you to get up to two more attacks off of uh, things you ate for engorge or whatever else, like again, if they get to Nile Griffin. So this thing is a great, great grade three compared to. The three copies of Gaia Desperado, which is way less good. Um, like, even comparing the arts, the original guy is gold and gleaming and amazing. This is, like, sad. Like, it looks like the fire's going out. But the skill is, uh, he's not engorged, and then GB2, uh, if he's engorged, he gets 5k, and then if he's on Vanguard, he gets a crit. Um, so that's fine. And then the other skill is, uh, when you stride on top of him... Uh, your Vanguard gets, when it becomes Engorged, you counter blast draw a card. So, this is way less good, because the original Gaia lets you get back two units that were retired for Engorged, where this lets you get back only one. Um, but, because so many of your cards can regurgitate themselves now, um, you can... Like, writing this isn't as much of a death sentence as it used to be, and a lot of cards need a Gaia Vanguard, so that's why... <coughs> I forewent running heavy Arzine, because this is what would happen. I ran it at one copy, and then it would be like, all right, G assist. Okay, ride heavy Arzine, and then you lose. So yeah, that's uh, that's why he's not in there. Four copies of uh, Circa Blaze. So he's, uh, he's got Engorge, and then during the battle that he attacks me, he's Engorged. Uh, he, he, your opponent can't call uh, guard to zero, so he's uh, Silent Tom. This can happen any time of the game, which means he's great both early and late game. Uh, he's amazing with the GB8, and uh, he's amazing early game. He's just a good card. Uh, four copies of Tank Mammoth. Still arguably the most important card in the deck, aside from Gaia. Uh, when he's put in the drop zone during my turn, uh, you can counter blast one, soul blast one, call himself back, and he gets plus 3k. So this means you can get an attacker without having to use Gaia's stride skill on something. So that's what makes him super important. It's also most of your early game. So if you have if you like ride Sarko Blaze and call this, you get three attacks off of two cards, which is really good early. So um, three copies of Diablo Cannon. Um, he also has Engorge. If you have a Vanguard with Gaia and its uh, card name, he gets 2k all the time. So that's one of the cards that needs a Gaia Vanguard. And then also GV1, you can uh, discard a card. When he, uh, this engorged unit is retired from rear guard, uh, for the effective cost of Vanguard with the new orange ability, you may pay the cost. If you do, call it to rear and it gets 5k. So this allows you to, not again, not waste Gaia's stride skill on 
uh, one of your rear guards. Like, he can regurgitate himself and more powerful. So, uh, he's also an 11k all the time, which means you don't need a booster, so it's less commitment, which is also always uh, something good for Tachikaze, because Tachikaze had a problem playing from behind, so this is kind of good at, like, helping re remedy that. Uh, four copies of Stride Fodder, because it's a stride deck, you want to ride the original Gaia whenever possible, so this lets you search the correct one. Um, four copies of Savage Guardian. Um, I know some people run the Engorge PG at one. Uh, I like the Unflips too much. Um, you, you know, so that's why. Uh, the Engorge PG can be searched by Camaro, which, again, if you can't afford all four, run the Engorge PG. That's fine. Three copies of Freezer Nix. So uh, when he's putting drops under in my turn, if you have a Gaia Vanguard, again, that's another reason. Um, you, uh, you counter charge, soul charge, and then pick a unit, and it gets plus 2k. So this allows you to not run out of resources during your turn. It's probably the thing you're going to be calling with Baby Chimera, and it's probably the thing you're going to be using Gaia's Stride still on. So it's a very, very good card. Um, two copies of Raven Terra. So he's got Engorge, and then uh, GB1 Soul Blast 1, when it's retired from Rear Guard, for the cost or effective Vanguard with, your, with the Engorge ability, you may pay the cost if you do. Call it to Rear, and if the number of face up cards in your damage zone is one or less, counter charge. So again, another thing that can regurgitate itself without the stride skill, and on top of that, you can get a counter charge for it. So it may be competing for Soul with Tank Mammoth, but I definitely think it's worth it. Um, yeah. One copy of Pachycephalo. So, Engorge, if he's Engorged, he gets 2k. And then also, uh, Soul Blast 1 when he's retired from rear. Uh, for the effect or cost of a unit with Gaia, uh, you can Soul Blast 1 and draw a card. So, this allows you to kind of dig through your deck. Um, I, I ran it at uh, 3 for a while. That was replaced with Raven Terra. But um, the good thing about the Grade 1 lineup for Tachikaze is after the Stride Fodder PG and, you know, 3 Freezer Nicks, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, this thing's a promo, and it might be a pain in the ass to find, so, you know, maybe switch it out for another Raven Terra. Um, I know there's a great one that when it's killed for something on either, on your turn for, by anything, you can counter blast, draw a card, and call something. So, that's def that might be something to consider. I might consider doing that instead of, uh, Pachycephalo here. But being able to dig for stuff is nice, so. Uh, also one copy of Savage Heroine. So, she's gotten gorged, and then she gets plus 3k... For every engorged unit. Um, so this is uh, one of my favorite things to um, use with Baby Chimera, because when Baby Chimera calls her out, she's a 9k, and then because your Vanguard had to have been engorged, she's 12k, which means behind um, behind Sarka Blaze, that's a uh, 21k column, and then if Sarka Blaze engorges, that's 24, and if one of those was Freezer Nix, it's 26 no zeros. So this allows you, A, to do crazy shit like that, but also it's an attacker, which if you don't really have a good attacking force, this is something that's perfect for that. So, Savage Heroine at 1. Um, again, you can take this out for other stuff if you like, though. Uh, triggers. Four copies of Converse Orinth. So this is the new heal trigger we got. Um, when he's, uh, you know, discarded for uh, cost of a G-Guardian, you can bind two heal triggers from Drop Zone and either Counter Charge or Soul Charge. We didn't care about our drop zone at all, so this is brilliant. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, the, the, there's literally no other heal to run. If Four copies of Paris Launcher. So this is our uh, our Heart Thumb clone. Uh, it allows you to get soul. It allows you to be aggressive early. Like, if you ride a grade 3 first, you can be like, all right, I got Tank Mammoth... You know, Baby Chimera, some 7k in this, so you go, like, attack with, you know, Tank Mammoth, attack with, uh, Paris Launcher in the 7k, you know, attack with Gaia, shove, draw, eat Tank Mammoth, it calls itself back, like, it, it's just a good card. Um, and then three copies of Dino Dial, so he's, a uh, crit where you shove and soul and then flip a damage. Um, you can also run four of him in three... Uh, Paris Launcher, if you find yourself in trouble with Counter Blasts. Uh, I... To the people who run Coal Magnum, don't. 
Um, be, because of the way Tachikaze works where you eat your own rear guards and they come back standing, a stand trader works pretty much 0% of the time. So my goal is to win games, and to do that, I try to be as aggressive as possible. So that's why. Um, four copies of Sledge Ankylo, and then one copy of Savage Notice. So just uh, seven crit, five draw. Um, I had an 8-4 for a while, but I was having hand problems, so I upped the draw count. Um, I've sim seen some people do 6-6, six, six, so you can try that. You can go down to 8-4, you can do 7-5, but um, overall, crits and draws are the way to go with Tachikaze. Fight me on it. Not physically, because flu. Anyway, um, for the G-Deck, we have two copies of Guy Dynast. I know, I got two SPs. I'm an asshole. Anyway, so um, he's got Gorge, and then GB3... When a unit is retired from uh, him, you can counterblast one. Uh, if you do, call the card that, you, that was retired to rear guard circle, and then him and it get 3k. You're not going to use that much. The other skill is um, uh, choose a copy of him, flip it. Uh, when it becomes engorged, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your rear guards and retire all units or rear guards in that column and counter charge. So this allows you to A, play with less counter blast because you can unflip mid-battle. B, um, it's really good first strike because you can wipe out a column. It also gets around resist, so this can screw up Aqua Force pretty bad. Um, it's definitely the first strike of choice, um, except for maybe uh, Gratitude Gant, which I'll get to in a second here. But um, the ability to counter charge while doing that means you can... Uh, like, all right, I'm going to, you know, use Baby Chimera, call the thing, and then after I blow up the column, I get a counter charge, and then use the counter charge I just did to counter blast for Tank Mammoth, that kind of thing. So he's a very uh, flexible card. One copy of Gratitude Gigant. <coughs> so he's got Gorge. You know what? I'll just say uh, all of the strides in here that aren't Seabreeze have Gorge. Good? All right, moving on. So, uh... When he becomes engorged, uh, he gets 5k for each unit you ate for it. And then uh, if you retired three or more for doing that, you draw a card. So uh, if you happen to be really aggressive early and the opponent's at four, attacking for 41k on like the first stride turn is really good. Also, um, if the opponent doesn't have anything or anything that you care about retiring, this is what you want to go into. Um, it's a it's a really good stride. Also going into a late game, like, all right, I don't really have the counter blasts to do guide uh, devastate. And I don't have the cards to do dogma. Let's just go into this. Screw it. Like it it's a really good stride. Um, four copies of guide devastate. So this is the new stride we got. Um, it's really freaking good. So uh, his skill is you counter blast one and you flip up a copy of him. So when he becomes engorged, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card and choose up to two circles other than the Vanguard for each face-up card in your G-Zone. Put all of the cards on those circles into the drop zone. And if the number of the cards put into the drop zone was three or more on your side, he gets 10k crit and quad drive. So, because that's the reason that's worded so weird is that you can put your own locked cards into the drop zone. It also means you can get around resist. So, shit's good, yo. Um... I often find myself, it, it, it A, lets you uh, do something when you're behind. So you can, like, all right, I only have one card, engorge it, and then just blow up the opponent's field. You may not get quad drive, but you get a draw off of it. Um, and it's just, it's a really freaking good card. Um, I find myself barely going into Dogma anymore. I mostly just go into this. I made it to GB8 a bunch of times, so I've gone into that too. Like, it's just, it's so good. Pick yours up today, dot, dot, dot. All right, uh, two copies of Dogma. So, this is, or was, and still is kind of the big finisher for Tachikaze. So, you flip a copy of him. Uh, when he becomes engorged, if the number of uh, things you ate was three, it gets plus 10k, and then if it was five, at the end of the battle that he uh, attacked, you restand, he gets drive minus one. So he's a... a five drive checking stride so one of the best race standards but you do need a lot of cards to kind of make it happen um which is also why i don't really go into him anymore uh because overlord is running around and link joker is running around 
so that you can't really have the full field to make this happen much, but it's still a really damn good card. Uh, you don't need to, like, I've seen a lot of lists are like, all right, I run four and four, like, I don't... This thing's like, what, $70? Something like that? Don't waste your money. Just get your two and just, you're fine. You're fine. I have the other two. Don't, don't, uh... Like, I'm not gonna pretend that the card's not good. There are two more, but... You don't need four. Uh, one copy of the GB8. <laughs> so, his skill is, uh, when my rear guard is retired, choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards. Retire it. Choose one of your rear guards, and that unit and this unit get plus 10k. So, if you engorge three things, you get to kill three things on the opponent's side, and him and the a rear guard of your choice get, uh, plus 30k. So... This thing's great. Uh, it's really funny with Sarker Blaze, because you, when you attack with Sarker Blaze, it's like, all right, I'm attacking for 49, no zeros, you know? Um, it's really, like, it, it, it's a pretty pretty good GB8. Um, it also is pretty good when you're behind, because you can kind of just eat anything. Um, so you also, ha like, have enough card advantage to where, like, you can get to this fairly reliably, depending. But, yeah, good GB8. One copy of Seabreeze, because... G deck. Um, for the G guards, we have one die more phalanx. So uh, if you have less or equal rear guards as the opponent when you G guard, it gets 5k shield. Fine, great. Um, one copy of Bullish Primer. So uh, he's a flippy G guard. He, uh, when you flip, he gets 5k shield for every open circle. So this is great when you're behind. So they're like, all right, I'm attacking with, uh, you know, Overlord of the Purge, you know, with Pentuple Drive. For 26, and you're like, all right, do this, flip, and it's, you know, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51. So that's, uh, that's five to pass. So, yeah, good G-Dart. Um, one copy of Black Egg Ganga. This thing's kind of shit, but, uh, the skill is, uh, you retire a rear guard. Um, when it's placed on guard circle, you do that, it gets 10k shield. Then you pick two, uh, rear guards, and they get, when it's retired, you return it to your hand. That doesn't say just rear guard circle, so you can put it, like, you know, retire grade one in the back, then pick two in the front, and then give them that skill, and then you intercept with them, and then they go back to your hand. So, it's good in that respect to where you can reuse guard, but it's not that amazing. It usually ends up being the flip target for that, truth be told. Um, one copy of, uh, Rectomi. So you can use, you can do this, or Dismal, it's up to you. Um, Rectomi... <coughs> God. <clears throat> Rack, tell me, uh, because I run five draws, like, you, you get draw triggers in the hand, so it just helps you dig for stuff. Um, Dismal will protect your tank mammoth or Sarko Blaze or what have you, so it, it, it's player's choice on that one. And then one mixed element, Colburn, because we're really bad at getting shield. So his skill is when you guard with him, you discard a card, and then you're, he gets 5k shield for every two cards in the opponent's hand. So... I so wish that was continuous so that would, it would count with drive checks, but it doesn't. Um, the it, it, It's a good card when you're behind, and, you know, it's pretty solid. Tachikaze's G-Guards aren't that amazing. They're not Murakumo bad, but they're still not very good. Um, so, yeah, that, that was the deck, like, my deck post GBT-13. Um, if you like it, rate, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, hopefully I'll sound not terrible soon, and I can do other videos where I, I, I don't sound like a freaking smoker. So happy new year and have a good one guys.